Binance recently launched a mobile crypto wallet. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get started using it. Also, if you're watching this video before December 31st, 2023, then by making one simple swap in Binance's new wallet, you will qualify to enter an airdrop campaign where you could win up to one whole Bitcoin. Now, since Binance's new Web3 wallet is only available on mobile devices, you're first gonna to need to hit up the app store and make sure that you download the Binance app. Also, at this point, I'm assuming that you already have set up a Binance account because you're going to need to have one of those as well. However, if you haven't, simply download the Binance app and quickly register for an account. Now, once you have completed that step, this is what the Binance app actually looks like. And you're going to want to hit on the bottom right hand corner where you can see that it says wallets. Now the default wallet is just showing the assets that you're holding on the Binance exchange. So I have about $25 worth of crypto held on Binance exchange. But you'll notice that at the top now you can toggle between exchange wallet and Web3 wallet. And by creating a Web3 wallet, you will be able to use Binance's new product. You'll be able to make one swap, potentially qualify for a massive airdrop. And also you'll be able to use this just like you use, for example, the Uniswap wallet or the Coinbase wallet on your mobile device. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create wallet. It takes a couple of seconds to initialize, but it's super quick and easy. And just like that, my Web3 wallet for Binance has been created. Now, if I hit the backup button, it's gonna ask me if I wanna back it up through the cloud or with a QR code. But either one of these is going to allow you to take control of your own crypto assets held in Binance wallet. And so that means if you ever lost your phone or for some reason lost access to your Binance account, as long as you have backed it up and saved that backup somewhere safe, you will be able to restore access to your crypto funds on another device or another wallet. So I'm going to back it up with the cloud and I'm going to enter in a secret recovery password. Once you enter in the password, simply hit continue and it's gonna ask you to confirm that you understand the terms and conditions and the safety implications and you'll be good to go. Okay, backup successful. So now I can actually go ahead and start using this wallet. However, before we can use the wallet to make a swap and then potentially qualify for that airdrop, we're going to need to get some assets into this wallet. So you'll notice at the top, there's a few buttons. One says send, and if I was to hit on that, I can send money from my Binance wallet to another wallet. Of course, I don't have any money yet. So I'm actually going to need to start by hitting on the receive button. Now, when I hit on that button, you'll notice that I have the option to scroll through a list of assets and select one to send. So if I selected the Ethereum address, for example, it's gonna show me a wallet address that I can copy and paste and then send ETH to that address from a different wallet. However, I also have the option to just move funds from the exchange to the Web3 wallet by hitting on this transfer now button. And that's just an easier way to do it if you already have a Binance wallet set up. So since I have some ETH in my Binance exchange wallet, I can just automatically send that over to the new Binance wallet. And I can even do that on a layer two network so I can save a lot of money on gas fees. So let's say I want to send myself the ETH from the exchange wallet to the new Web3 wallet on the Optimism Network. I just select all that information, hit transfer, and then confirm the amount that I want to send. And when I hit withdraw, you'll notice that there's a very small network fee. And if you don't know what that is, the simple explanation is anytime you make a transaction on a cryptocurrency network, you have to pay for a transaction fee or a network fee. And since this is on an Ethereum layer two, Optimism, it's a lot less. If you transact on the Ethereum mainnet, those transfer fees or network fees are gonna be a lot more expensive. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this transaction and it will go through. Now, sometimes it might take a minute or two for the withdrawal to process, but it'll be pretty quick. And there we go. It took about one minute, probably a little less, but my assets have now transferred and I have ETH in my new wallet on the Optimism Network. And on Binance's wallet, it just calls it Optimism ETH. And that is great. Now I can actually use this wallet to do stuff. Now I can send assets to other wallets and I can also use the transfer feature to transfer between my Web3 wallet and my exchange wallet with the different assets that I have available. With this history button here, you can just see all of the transactions that you've made, but I haven't actually made any transactions in this wallet yet. Now down at the bottom, this is where you can actually track markets and make trades or swaps. So if I hit on the markets button, I can take a look at trending cryptocurrencies, what is moving the most volume, what is up or down the most. Now, once I've decided that I want to buy or sell a cryptocurrency, then I would hit on the swap button. And this is where I can choose 
what I want to swap from and what I want to swap to. So since I only have one asset in the wallet right now, I'm going to need to spend or swap from Optimism ETH, and then I can decide what I want to receive in exchange for that. Now, in order to qualify for this airdrop campaign, I just need to make one simple swap and I can swap from any asset to any asset. It's completely up to me. So let's say that I just wanted to trade a little bit of ETH for a stable coin, USDT. Well, I can do that here and I would select how much I want to trade. So let's say I wanted to trade 0.05 or about $11. Well, it's gonna pop up telling me how much I will receive for this trade and it will also tell me what the gas fees or the network fees for this transaction will be. And you can see that the network fee for this trade is about one cent and I will receive about $11.37 of USDT in exchange for that 0.005 ETH. And in the section that says provider, that is actually where the trade is getting routed through. So this is routing through the one inch decentralized exchange, but there's other DEXs out there that a trade could be routed through. So for example, Uniswap is one of the big ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this swap by hitting on the swap button and I am going to hit confirm. Okay, so my order has been submitted and is currently processing, but it should go through pretty quickly. Yep, there we go. So it took literally a couple of seconds and that trade is completed. And now I will have some USDT in my wallet. If I go back to the homepage, you can see I now have a little bit of ETH on the Optimism chain and $11 worth of a stable coin. And there's many different tokens available on the Optimism chain, including Optimism's own token. So let's say actually I wanted to swap into some OP tokens and maybe I don't wanna spend the entire uh, USDT amount that I have, but let's say I wanted to buy $5 worth of OP tokens. Well, I can do that. And this is gonna be a two-step transaction because first I have to approve the swapping of my USDT and then I actually have to confirm the swap itself. And the reason why this is a two-step transaction is because it is a token on an Ethereum layer two network. And so the only cryptocurrency that you can trade without having to approve a token is ETH itself. But for any other token trade, you're gonna have to first approve access to the token and then confirm the swap itself. Okay, I've submitted that order and now I've done two swaps and I should have three different assets in my wallet if I go back to the home page. And that is all that you need to do to potentially win up to one Bitcoin. You just have to complete one swap in the Binance Web3 wallet. There's no other limitations on it. It's very, very simple. So I am now entered into that campaign. Yeah, so you can see it's very easy to use and that is how you make swaps. Now there are other features with Binance's Web3 wallet. For starters, there's the earn feature where you can provide crypto assets to Binance who will then loan them out to other people in exchange for a yield and different assets will have different yields. Stable coins currently are yielding between six and 7% and other crypto assets have lower yields. For example, ETH and Bitcoin are both yielding below 1%. Now, there are risks involved in this, of course. You are lending out your crypto assets to entities that you don't know, and while the yield may be tempting, you have to weigh that against the risk as well, because it is possible for you to lose the assets that you lend out on this platform. So keep that in mind if you're going to use the earn function. And in the discover function, this is where you can find different applications to actually connect your new Binance Web3 Wallet too. So for example, Uniswap is a very popular decentralized exchange. Now, if I actually open up the Uniswap application on my computer and hit connect, there is an option for something called Wallet Connect. And when you hit on that button, it's gonna open up a QR code. And in your Binance Web3 Wallet, by hitting on this button in the top right corner with four little corner squares and a line in the middle, you can scan the QR code and that will actually connect your wallet to the Uniswap application, and then you can trade directly by using your Web3 wallet. And so now you'll notice that my Binance Web3 wallet is connected to Uniswap here, and I can choose the network that I wanna trade on. So let's say Optimism. I can choose the tokens. So let's say I wanna swap from my OP tokens back into ETH. I can choose how much, and then I will have to hit swap. Now, when this is happening, it's gonna pop up in my wallet on my phone asking me to confirm the transaction. So I can go ahead and hit confirm on my phone. And now that swap has gone through on Uniswap. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the functionality of Binance's wallet. Now you can see that I'm losing some money here on these swaps because every time you make a transaction, 
you do pay some gas fees for that, unfortunately. I'm doing it for the purposes of this tutorial, but you do need to be careful to make sure that you're not losing more in gas fees than whatever you're earning on the trades that you're making. Now, one final thing I'll show you is that you can actually connect the wallet to NFT platforms as well. So for example, OpenSea, if I hit on the wallet connect button on OpenSea and scan the QR code on my phone, now I can connect my Binance Web3 wallet to OpenSea and I can buy and sell NFTs directly through OpenSea. And you'll notice that on the Binance Web3 wallet, there's a section for NFTs as well. And if I buy NFTs, they're gonna show up here. So really it is a pretty functional Web3 wallet. One of the major pros is that it's so easily connected to the Binance exchange. So if you're already using Binance, then it's a pretty simple process to start using their Web3 wallet as well. On the con side, I would say that since it's actually not its own separate application and it's built within the Binance app, I don't know, maybe there's some additional risks associated with that, especially since Binance is an offshore exchange and there's other more decentralized Web3 wallets out there that are probably better, especially if you're planning on storing large sums of money in them. However, if you just want to use it for the functionality and the ease of use, then I do think it's a pretty solid product. And obviously the user experience closely mirrors that of Binance itself. And of course, as with any product from a centralized exchange, I don't recommend people keep significant sums of money on them. Rather, you wanna custody your own assets on a cold storage wallet like a Ledger or a Trezor if you want to hold significant sums of money. But for simple things like buying or selling little NFTs or making a couple of swaps, then sure, Binance Wallet is great. Anyways, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Good luck qualifying for Binance's Web3 Wallet airdrop campaign, and I'll see you later.